YouTube, what's good? What's happening? What's up with y'all? Hope everybody having a good day. Hope y'all had a good week. It's Friday. So, therefore, I hope y'all have a good weekend as well. So, um, I got some things that I need to take care of in this fish room. Before I get started on that, let's talk about a couple things that you might notice. Bam! This plastic. Y'all, if y'all seen this room before, y'all knew that this plastic wasn't previously here. Now, this plastic is keeping the humidity inside of this space this is where i have my florida soft shell turtle at and uh these shower curtains work amazing just keeping the humidity in there so therefore the dehumidifier right there that's right there behind me is able to handle this room if it was open it'd be a lot harder for that dehumidifier to handle so uh that's the elephant in the room will the shower curtains in the room other than that I've been wanting to get my Giardini into this room since it left this room. So uh, we've been having, or we have down here, a whole bunch of hybrids. These are the Dovi Feste hybrids. So it's time to get these fish up out of here. Uh, we're going to take these fish to the fish room, probably put them in the 225 with the other ones. Let them grow out a little bit more. And I know some of y'all want some. Still got them. Y'all can get some. Uh, just like I said. In many other videos, I've never shipped fish before, so I don't really know the full process of it. I definitely have the packing materials. I got the styrofoam um, shipping boxes. So it shouldn't be hard. Just got to figure out the pricing and all that fun stuff. But uh, still got a bunch of them. So I'm going to take all these fish out of this tank, put them in a 225, and then we're going to put the Giardini down here in this 180. And then it could finally start growing. We've had it for a while, and I'm not saying his growth is stunted by any means because he's definitely growing, but he's going to grow a lot more, a lot faster, and a lot bigger in this 180. So uh, I've already started the process. I took out about, about a gallon and a half, two gallons of the water, put it in my five-gallon bucket right here. I have a trash can so I can take out all the rock work because it's a ton of rock work in there. Then we're going to clean it. I'm not going to put the Giardini in here tonight because this probably will take a little bit of time but within the next day or two then we'll go ahead and uh, get a heater on this tank because right now I don't have a heater I just keep the room as warm as I could keep it I did add a heater to this 225 up here and I will add the heater to this 180 when we add the Giardini in here so uh, without any further ado let's get to it don't need to hold you any longer so spinning the camera around before I get started one of the things that you'll notice is that this tank is green. It's in the sunroom, so it's a ton of light coming into this room. So this tank always gets hit with a ton of algae. This one also get hit with a ton of algae. This one over here, all these snails everywhere keep the algae down in this aquarium. There's absolutely zero algae in here on anything. So now you see how well snails do with your aquarium. That's why I'm one of those people that don't mind having snails in their, in their aquariums because this is so unsightly. But I also don't want this many snails in this tank nor this tank. So I got to figure out something else. The plants also will probably help reduce some of the algae growth in here. But anyway, let's go ahead and start draining this tank or take out a little bit more water, at least another gallon. And then also let's uh, start catching these fish. All right, see, get all this rack out, get the small pieces first. This water's cold too. I'm sure they'll be happy to go to an aquarium with a heater in it. And I definitely gotta order another heater. Got a real good deal on a heater from uh, from PetSmart on Cyber Monday. Well, Cyber, it's supposed to be Cyber Monday, but they extended it until Tuesday. And I got a heater for under 20 bucks. It was a... Uh, 300 watt so I bought two plus tax it was $42 and some change couldn't beat that let me 
me go ahead and finish getting out the rest of this rock and I'll check back with you. All right. Tank empty, trash can full of rock. But let me go ahead and clean that glass. I know y'all can't see a thing. All right, let's get to it. Got a nice brush. Just go ahead and brush all that off. Look at that. Now you can see inside of there. Now let me do the other side. All right. All right, y'all, so I got the front glass clean. I got some more water right there. I got all of the sponges as well as the media blocks in there. Got the rock right there. Now I need to go ahead and disconnect those sponge filters because I don't need them blocking and getting in the way. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that egg crate in here and uh, divide up this aquarium and give them as little amount of swim space as I possibly could. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I put all the sponges in the bucket with the media. Just like that, right there. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and put this egg crate in there. And then I'm gonna cord them off to this area right there. Move everything out the way so you can see. Y'all can see now. Watch how I do this. right over here now it's still going to take some time to get them but this is going to definitely make it a lot easier you see See, so some jumped over, but I'm about to have my way with them now. So I'll just keep repeating that process. Now it's really hard to do this and record, but we're going to make it happen. Make it even smaller now. Let 
then I'll show you how many I got and you'll see how much easier this is. Pretty sure you get it though. Show you what I got, and then I'm gonna do it again. Yep, got a lot in there now. That's I don't know how many that is, at least 50. So let's go ahead and get the rest. All right, I think that's it. Got them all. So that uh, little strategy with the lighting diffuser right here the best way to try to catch fish in a large aquarium fast let's go ahead and get them into that 225 let's go to the fish room all right y'all so we about to put them into this 225 right here it's a big tank much bigger than the 180 well not much bigger but it's bigger than the 180 i don't have lighting on it so it's not going to be a a very entertaining introduction but trust and believe it's a ton of hiding spots. We already got some of the other hybrids in here and that will probably encourage them to come out. Now you might notice that this tank has a bunch of algae all over the back, a little bit on the front, etc. But that's because of the big 800 gallon pine. So these grow lights are on every day, making sure these plants stay healthy and stay thriving. So this tank right here is just is subjected to the to the extra light. So the algae is growing out of control. So it's not going to be too entertaining watching me put the fish into that tank. But nonetheless, that's where they're going. So let me go ahead and just put them in there. Now I'm not going to really worry about acclimating them. I'm about to just pour them right on in. All right. All right, there they go. They look better in here anyway. Eventually, once I get rid of all these fry, this tank will probably transform either this one or the 240. Not quite sure yet. But look at all those fry. Got a lot of different rocks to hide around. I know they enjoy that. They already found some little swim throughs all the way over here. All good. Definitely all good. And like I said, this tank is warm. We already got the heater right there going. It'd be nice to get some lights on it for sure. Maybe uh, we'll get a sponsor to drop us a couple of lights for it. They're pretty sick, huh? Anyway. Got them all in here. That's what I wanted to show you. Look at the OGs. They coming on out. The bigger ones. But as there's no hiding now. Y'all can't hide. Look at all these Dovi Fest. They fry. Y'all want to see what the what a bigger hybrid look like? I do have a bigger hybrid. I think it's probably like seven inches now maybe six inches let's go take a look all right there you go right there there you go right there about seven inches can't really see the colors on it but it's the biggest one i have you could definitely see the feste as well as the dovi patterns but i can't wait until it get to at least 10 inches and we're really going to see what this thing is going to look like hopefully it's a male come on out 
All right, let's go ahead and go back to the other fish room and wrap up this video. Let's go look at the fire one more time though. All right. I went ahead and wiped off that glass a bit. There's no need to be lazy and had the front of this glass looking all dirty. But look at all the fry in here. Like I said, it'll be dope when I get a light. But I definitely like seeing the fish swimming through. I might bring the rock work in here. I might bring some more rocks in here, y'all. The Giardini definitely doesn't need it. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. All right, y'all, so that's all I have for you. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you learned something. Hope that you're inspired by something. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell. Let you know whenever I upload. And everybody, if y'all like the video, like the video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. All right, y'all. So we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the content. Help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.